So let's quickly learn how to use curl noise in Niagara in Unreal Engine 5.5. So I'll just make a new Niagara system. FX and inside this I will add an emitter. I'll take the fountain. Okay and let's make the little darker background. So this is it. So basically what the curl noise is it has now a velocity so let me delete the gravity and this is the velocity and let's also uh, I'll make this gone zero so and so particle is going straight upward if you want some uh, random movement in this you can use the curl noise and you can add that in here in the particle update so curl noise and this is the strength of noise then the frequency the the noise pattern how big it is or how small it is then you can animate that pattern and you can add offset and you can also mask so basically now they are going straight and if you make this like uh, drastic value like 500 you can see some random movement right and you can decrease the frequency so like if i make this 10 you can see they are going there but they are keep going there on the left side because my pattern is not animating so the pen noise is 000, zero. so if you animate it in any axis like i randomly put some value so you can see that pattern is now animating in all axis and this is what curl noise it and it makes very cool effect you can make like embers or lots of other effects firefly so it depends on magical effects it depends where you want to use it for winds okay so this is the strength of course if, if i make it 50 they are a little bit curl noise you can see it looks nice now maybe 100 better then of course this is frequency if i make this five the pattern will be bigger if i make it 50 the pattern will be smaller so you can see the smaller pattern here so i'll make it like 20 for now then we had this animation which is just the animation of that so let's say it is 500 and this is like 10 so now the animation of this curl noise is this and if i make this like point 0 0.1, 0 0.05, 0 0.002. 0 so that animation is now slow. So it is going there for a long time. Then it will change the pattern slowly. Okay. So it's now changing the pattern, but it's just replay now. Okay. So you can just add if I make like 10, 5, 2. Now see the movement is faster it's just changing drastically like here and here you can see that if i zoom cool the next thing is this offset so basically this is work like if it will pushes it's it's a bias actually it will push on uh, like a, this this let me just increase this and animate this so like this is animating and on this axis it's going on the positive y and on the negative y and also on x and also on z so you want to push it on the y all more so you can add something on y and now it's going on the y it has curl noise it is animating but it's pushing it to the y if like i use 0.2 or if i make it like minus one it will take the negative y so it is like it will push your particles, your all the behavior to certain direction. So that's what it is. Then we have the mask. And if I turn this on, it will give you two uh, options. That is mask angle and angle follow. Follow is basically the gradient fadeness and angle is it will check if the initial velocity has matching the angle like with this value 45 it will mask those values so to show it let me do something instead of this i'll take the linear and let's put one value and instead of this let's take the planar maybe 200 and let me just increase the spawn rate maybe 500 and do it like two so now if i don't have curl noise uh, i don't have velocity 
and I have curl noise and turn this off. Curl noise is working when I am turning on the mask. Curl noise will stop because there is no initial velocity and it's not matching any of these. So if I add some velocity, like see, and now it's working on some particle. And why it's working on some particle, not all? Let me show you. So basically, uh, if I you have the particle like this and with the curl noise this will go randomly like this okay and i have mask and i want mask i have angle in the mask basically this angle value 45 so basically from here to here 45 or maybe you can take 90 so if this velocity is matching within this angle it will stop that particle okay so basically now in this whole particles because I have this curl noise and which is just animating and randomly. So sometimes some particle matching with this and some are not. So if I decrease this, so see very less particles are now matching very few particles. If I increase this, almost all particle will match because it has 360 degrees. Cool. So this is what and it's, it's very cool. To, it's very useful to make this the kind of effect something on your ground and it's like leaves or something and they randomly just like flowing through the air so this is what you can do then the next thing is if you have like particles and let me turn off the curl noise and you have velocity like this uh, a, a simple line going up and now you turn on the curl noise basically and turn off this so you have this random effect but if you drag it in here in the particle spawn fix this it will spawn this stack so basically now it's just animating very first frame of this and the particle velocity is following that okay and so basically this is just initial velocity now one more cool thing i want to show you so like you have this and you want to trail so you will duplicate this and then you can randomize something here maybe 0 0.5 0 0.2 now you have two trails because random uh, pan speed you can see if you want to make it inside one you can do that that's the new and cool thing you will learn in this tutorial a part of curl noise basic so basically you can have to turn off all the options and there is random seed and random seed is something a random value you can put any value it will work the same random okay it's just the random same okay so but if you randomize it because this six value is applying on all particles if you randomize it and take zero and one so you have two if you like zero and two that means it has three five it has six but because particle is distributing these trails you have to increase the spawn rate so use gpu if you want so this is what you can do within a single emitter so i think i have covered all the features of of curl noise and of course if you want to add colors or anything depending on your, your velocity you can do that that i have already covered in my other tutorials so let me just make this and let me also make this gpu so we can just make this like cool so this is it uh, that's it thanks for watching keep learning bye bye